Hi, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to be installing a, uh, a new jack uh, onto the front of our uh, Mallard M185. And so the front of the Mallard M185 has a standard uh, uh, jack, which is pretty common for uh, normal uh, travel uh, trailers uh, like this. But I'm going to be installing a uh, power tongue jack uh, like this one. So uh, these are pretty common for a lot of the uh, higher end uh, uh, trailers. Uh, a lot of them are pretty easy, pretty easy to install. I'll go ahead and show, uh, show the process uh, for this. Uh, we also got a, a neat little cover uh, as well uh, to be able to protect it and everything. Um, I'll go ahead and show the other uh, process for this. So, so I actually have a uh, uh, a bit of a I have a, what's called a chain saver uh, actually attached to a, to the top of mine right here. So the first thing I have to do is obviously you use, uh, use a Phillips uh, screwdriver, basically just uh, uh, undo the, these right here uh, and basically drop this down. Obviously, I have to make sure uh, as well that the uh, my jacks uh, are already set uh, for the uh, for the trailer. That way, I can actually raise um, the, uh, this jack actually all the way up as well. So that way, once I, uh, the next part of that after that is to um, loosen the bolts for this. That way, I can actually remove the entire jack, and then from there, I can go ahead and uh, start uh, unboxing the the new jack assembly here and start uh, getting that uh, all placed and uh, set up. And I'll go ahead and uh, unbox that and show you everything that uh, that comes inside that. All right, so. You want to make sure that you uh, lift the jack up uh, to basically relieve the uh, the pressure of the jack uh, from the uh, from the front of the toe. Uh, sorry, from the from front of the assembly here. And then this happens to be uh, nine sixteenths um, on the socket here. So once you lift lift the uh, the strain off, uh, nine sixteenths. Uh, so I've already taken uh, my uh, chain saver uh, off as well. So I can go ahead and start uh, basically just uh, uh, loosening the bolts on this and getting the whole thing uh, taken off the frame. All right, so once you have the uh, the bolts actually removed, if you have a uh, a plate down the bottom, uh, you'll have to remove the uh, you'll have to remove the actual pin uh, from that, and then you basically just uh, grab the whole thing and just remove the whole assembly. So there we go, all set. Now we're going ready to uh, unbox the new jack and uh, see what we're up against here. Okay, so everything that comes inside this, uh, everything was in, was in the bag. I've already just just uh, took the bag off of it, just so you can see uh, the contents. Here is the, the jack itself. Here's a new base. There is a pin uh, with, uh, with the actual uh, pin, uh, the cotter pin that actually holds the pin in place. So that way, basically, you have the whole base that sits on the bottom of the actual jack assembly itself. There is the uh, the manual um, piece right there. So in case the power power is out, so you still have the uh, the manual jack, uh, so you can actually still actuate the whole thing uh, manually. And then obviously, the uh, assembly uh, uh, instructions uh, as well for for install, um, and also uh, the uh, uh, replacement. Um, uh, bolts as well. So um, we'll go ahead and get started by just going ahead and pulling this out and then basically just sliding it back in uh, to the hole and then basically just, uh, installing the uh, the new bolts and it's gonna be a pretty easy install. Okay so I have the new jack just sitting here on the tongue and so because I know just a little bit about uh, electrical and I know that the system is using a negative ground uh, through the frame I want to make sure that it has a good electrical connection uh, through the frame because it's going to be using uh, that for the negative. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and scrape just a wee little bit uh, off the frame right here just on the front uh, which is a, a blade that way I'm making sure that it's making a good connection through the bolt for the negative uh, on this. So it doesn't necessarily call this out on the instructions, but again, I just want to make sure that we have a good solid electrical connection for the actual ground. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clear, just clear off just a wee little bit of, bit of paint off of this, uh, so that way the bolt makes a good solid ground connection. Um, because obviously we have a good big fat for the for the positive, I want to make sure we have a good solid for the negative uh, for the jack to actually pro uh, work properly. Okay, so I've got just enough uh, scraped off around this, so that way uh, when I go ahead and put the uh, put the bolt on here, uh, I have enough of a connection on here for it basically created that nice solid ground that I'm looking for uh, for the electrical uh, to ground earth uh, back to the uh, the actual chassis. So I'll go ahead and get this done, and then I'll tighten this down, and then we'll go ahead and start working on the uh, electrical for the positive. All right, so now I have my electrical line for positive. Uh, running back here to my little uh, bus point right here. So this is my positive right here. So I have my two uh, batteries and my positive uh, running here. So my little fuse ended up basically right about there for for this. So as far as testing this out, I can go ahead and uh, hit my power switch. My light comes on and I can go ahead and... And looks like it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, the next part of this is to go ahead and take the foot 
and go ahead and put that on here get the pin and my little cotter pin as well and get this uh assemble on here and then i'll, I'll should be uh, just about all set and then stow the uh, manual part uh, the manual uh override is basically used up here so if you need to use the manual override you slide the uh, little boot off the top and then the manual part uh, uh jack uh, just goes right up here on the top and that's how you basically spin the uh, the manual in case power is not available all right so got that all set up i'm gonna go ahead and Continue jacking this down, make sure I can actually take some of the weight on this, make sure this is gonna work out okay. There it is. That sounds good. Okay, perfect. So this is uh, finished up the installation of this uh, power drive uh, tongue jack on a Mallard M185 uh, trailer system. So I'm going to be finishing this uh, this install up. I'm going to be putting the uh, my little chain saver uh, back on. We'll be putting it up back on under, underneath the the whole uh, all power drive uh, jack uh, system uh, underneath. Uh, so that way I can keep the keep the chains and everything else uh, out of the way and everything. Um, don't forget, obviously, you want to make sure that you uh, also pick up some sort of a uh, tongue cover as well. So that way the sun doesn't uh, doesn't beat it all up and basically sun cook it. Um, and so uh, that installation is uh, pretty much done. Don't forget to uh, stow the manual uh, jack because it's going to be a royal pain uh, finding a, uh, a replacement uh, in the event that you actually need it. So make sure you stow that right away. Okay, so there we go. I got my chain saver uh, installed. I got some uh, some t um, electrical uh, tape on here to help support the uh, the wire, so that way it's not going to get floated, get uh, float or dance around or anything like that and cause any problems. Uh, uh, I'll hold my uh, my chains uh, off the ground and anything like that, so everything's uh, nice and organized and everything's uh, perfect up here. And uh, this is all done, and we're all ready to go. So a quick tip for you, I just realized uh, this is actually the, the the jack handle that came for the manual for the uh, uh, for the actual uh, power jack. Um, I was actually checking it real quick, and it is actually the same size for the standard jacks on the sides uh, for the actual RV for the stabilizers. So um, now I actually have two jacks. So in the event of an emergency, for example, I happen to have uh, two manual jacks for uh, assistance. So uh, they actually use the same size. But of course, if you just install a power lift jack, why would, on earth would you want to use a manual uh, lifting mechanism? So uh, obviously you want to go ahead and pick up something like this, like a scissor lift uh, drill adapter like this, and then go ahead and pick up uh, like an electric uh, jack system like this, uh, and then go ahead and put the, uh, the jack adapter uh, on the front of this. Uh, always make sure you keep a spare because uh, inevitably what will happen is, is while you're using your, uh, your power jack uh, adapter on the front of a, a drill, sometimes the, the drill will actually loosen, you'll end up dropping this. So uh, that's a disaster. So you always want to make sure you keep a spare one of these. So uh, that way you have a, a power lift jack on the front of the uh, trailer, and then you have a drill to do the, uh, the, the uh, regular stabilizer jacks for the rest of the trailer. So that way you're not breaking your back setting up the rest of the trailer. Uh, if this was uh, beneficial to you uh, at all, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button um, and make uh, some comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.